With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. The question asks, a ray of light incident at an angle theta on refracting face of a prism emerges from the other face normally. Okay. So if the angle of the prism is 5 degree and the prism is made out of material of refractive index 1.5 in the angle of incidence is right. So the options given here are 7.5, 5 degrees, 15 degrees or 2.5 degrees. Okay. So to understand this question, let me make you a diagram so that we can understand what is going on. Okay. So let's say, I'm sorry. Let's say this is our prism. Okay. And the angle of incidence is like this. Angle of incidence is like this. Then it refracts inside this prism. Okay. So let's say it refracts like this and it moves out normally from here. It emerges out normally from this surface. From the face of the prism, it emerges out normally. Okay. So let's make, make diagonal, uh, make normal for this face of this prism. Okay. So the normal word for this face would look like this. And let's name this. So the name of the normal is N1 for this and for this N2. Okay. So, from this normal, what is angle of incidence? So, this is our angle of incidence, right? And with this, this is our angle of refraction. Let's name it R1. And this angle, the emergent angle, P is equal to 0 because it's directly in the angle of R normal. Okay. So, let's write down what is the angle of the prism. So, angle of the prism is they have given us 5 degrees. Okay. Refractive index they have given us. Refractive index has been given us 1.5 degrees. 1.5. So, now we have to take out uh, the find out the angle of incidence on the face of the prism. Okay. So, for a prism, we know that we know that. R1 plus R2 should be equal to a angle of prism, right? And R, from here we can say R1 is equal to a minus R2, okay? And R1 then from here will become 5 minus 0 because R2 is at the uh, at the normal. So E is equal to 0 and R2 is also 0, okay? So from here R, R1 becomes 5 degrees that means the angle uh, the ray refracted by 5 degrees when it entered the press okay so if we apply Snell's law let's apply Snell's law apply Snell's law we have the ratio of sine of angle of incidence and the angle of refraction is always constant that is what is Snell's law say so from here mu is equal to what sine i divided by sine r1 okay so from here we can say that sine i is equal to mu into sine r1 right so sine i1 sine i will become 1.5 for the refractive index into sine of 5 degrees so this becomes what sin i will become sin i is equal to 1.5 into 0 0.087 that's the value of that's the value of sin 5 degree right 0 0.87 okay so if we simplify this equation further we will get let's simplify it further we will get sin i is equal to 0 0.1305. So, I will become what? I will become 
साइन इनवर्स जीरो पॉइंट वन थ्री जीरो फाइव सो आई इज वट सेवन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री दैट मीन्स दिस एंगल विच वॉज कमिंग इन साइड द प्रिज वॉज मेकिंग सेवन पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री विद द नॉर्मल ऑफ द स्पेस ऑफ द प्रिज so from here our first option is the correct option i hope i have solved your question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today